Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting. So let's get started. We're going to start off today with something a little bit different. I have a basic sketch of a barn, and I'm just going to sit down on the couch and paint it in. I want to be on the couch because I'll be more relaxed, and it'll take an hour and a half, maybe two hours. We're going to make it very, very detailed, and then when we're done, we're going to set it aside for maybe a week and a half to let it fully dry before we're going to go on. So right here, all I'm doing, I'm just blocking it in with dark color. Now I'm putting some uh, metal, sheet metal color on the roof, a nice gray. And we'll come back and highlight as usual. Look at how the right side is it's lighter than the left. The underpainting is lighter than the left. Because we're not going to totally highlight like we normally, normally do. We're just going to add a little bit of detail. Now I have a small brush out. I don't normally use the small brushes, but it, it really does make the detail work easier. And it's kind of fun just using a, a tiny detailed brush for once, since I don't normally do that. You can see there I put the windows in just with dark black, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to start adding some boards, just by adding a little bit of white paint on the brush and kind of moving it from top to bottom. And you can go to all the trouble you want to get detail, windows, and you can make little cracks in the boards if you want. And you can give attachments. See how there's a little piece that sticks out? It's not just a triangle. And you can make it as big as you want. And then when we're done with this, we have to let it dry. And you can see we're just still adding a lot of detail. Mostly just lines going up and down. Now they're not all the same color. Some are darker than others, some are lighter, and that's okay. It's a nice rough old barn. And I shortened this way down for the video. It did take me about an hour and a half to fully do this barn. So don't rush when you're doing yours. You can also add a little bit of shadow under the roof there. You see on the right, there's some shadow. And that kind of helps to set, set the roof on the building better. Here I'm just adding some highlight to the metal roof. Now I'm, I set it up on my knees like that so I could get a better angle so I can see what I was doing. I'm just adding more highlight, make it as bright as you want. You can see the, the angle of the lines, how they're sloping with the roof. That's important. The perspective has to be right when you're doing this. Now I'm just adding that little attachment on the top, just for some extra detail. And here I'm just finishing up, adding a window. Just a few more details, some lines on the roof, and then we're just about done. So now, this painting has been dry for about a week, and we can just take some masking tape, and we're going to mask it off, just like that. And then we'll cut out the shape, and then we can paint our landscape around it. Now when you have the building completely masked off, you can take a razor blade and very carefully cut out this masking tape here. I really don't want to cut the canvas, just the tape, and then we'll peel it away. Just like that. Now when you have a thin coat of white on there, we can go right into some blue and just begin painting the sky. I'm starting up at the top, and then letting it blend as it comes down, so it gets lighter toward the horizon. Now with a clean 2-inch brush, we can blend out this whole sky, make it look very soft, and get out anything that looks too harsh. But do leave a little bit of the, the light and dark areas in there is that it changes it up a little. Now we can take the fan brush and go through a little bit of white. And we can paint some tiny little clouds up here. I'm using mostly the corner of the brush. I don't want them to be too big today. Kind of soft little clouds. Now back to the brush that we were blending with. 
and we can very, very lightly blend away the bottom of the cloud with tiny little circles. And then we can lift them right up and go lightly across. Now with the knife and some gray, we can shape a few little mountains up here, just rubbing the paint right into the canvas. Now back to that two inch brush, we can grab this and just blend it right out. We're not worried about our barn, we'll paint right over it. Make it look very soft and misty toward the bottom. Now, with some white on the knife, we can add a very small amount of highlight to this mountain. I'm going to not highlight it quite as much as I usually do. I'm going to try to make the, the breaking a little bit smaller, because I want this mountain to be far away in the distance. Now, with some blue and white and a tiny bit of black, we can add some shadow to this mountain very, very lightly. I want this mountain to look very far away because our, remember our barn is going to be the center of interest in this painting. Now with a clean two inch brush, we can tap the bottom of this mountain to make it nice and misty. And it also kind of cuts it off a little because we're going to have some trees right about there and I want to have room for them. So we'll tap and then lift very, very lightly. Don't want to destroy it all. Now with the one inch brush and some green, we can tap just like this. And then, once you have a little bit of paint on there, you can take the brush and lift up and you get ton of little trees very far away. Now with some of that same green on the two inch brush, we can tap in some grass. Now this is just the dark part of the grass that will come back and highlight. But look how light that is and as I come down toward the foreground, I'm going to add a little bit more black to the color because I want everything at the horizon to be lighter. Now when you're done blocking in your grass, you can take another two inch brush and just tap it into some yellow and green. And then we can add some highlights just by tapping with the brush. Now we want to make sure that the land gets a little bit bigger, like the little rolling hills get larger as they come forward. Now notice all this dark I left in here. We need a lot of dark left in the grass to show the depth in the grass. So it's not just flat. Now with some dark brown on the knife, we can drop in a nice big tree right there. And I'm going to come back and highlight. So I just want a nice dark trunk. Now with some brown and white on the script liner, we can add a, a little tree right here, kind of behind the barn. Now with some brown on the knife, we can add some highlight just by touching the knife and letting it bounce up and down the tree. This leaves a lot of texture, makes it look like bark. Now with some dark paint on the one inch brush, we can add some leaves to this big tree up here. I'm just tapping on the dark part right now, and then we'll come back and add some nice highlights to it.
When you're done with the left side, then we can work on this tree on the right. It's really the same thing. Still tapping with the brush and thinking about how we want the limbs to be shaped. Now with some yellow and green, we can add some highlight to these leaves over here. Very, very lightly, just tapping with the corner of the brush. I'm leaving a lot of dark in the tree. Now we can add a little bit more white to that color and we can add some extra highlight just on the tips of some of the ones on the right side because the light is coming in like that. So it would just hit like that. Now it's time to peel off the masking tape. And look at that we have a fully completed barn. Now remember it was dry and we put the masking tape on it and there it is. Now we can just take some of this color and clean up the bottom of the barn because I didn't get the masking tape on there perfect and if we kind of go up into the barn a little it pushes it back some. Now with some of that dark under color we were using we can add a little shadow just like that, because remember the lights come in like this. Now back to the grass highlight color, and we can kind of clean up the shadow a little. Now after I step back from this, I think we need a little bit more highlight. So I just added some white, and here's some extra highlight. Now I want to darken up this back just a little bit. It was a little bit too bright. It'll fit better with the painting if it's darker. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my new website and also my DVD for sale. I'll put those links below. Thanks for watching.